What's up, scholars? Today we are talking about forces. And because I know that you know all about forces, because your whole life is surrounded by them, I decided to come to a place where forces are everywhere because we know that science is everywhere and forces are everywhere, so we're going to prove that today on the playground. Yes, we are on the playground. I'm actually sitting in the midst of a swing right now, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful tool that is using forces. What? Yes, it's using forces. The reason I can push off of here and I can swing on this squeaky, squeaky swing is because of forces. And what is a force? A force is a push or a pull. And there's lots of forces. Forces are everywhere. We use forces constantly. One of the forces that we're very, very acquainted with allows us to slide down a slide. You know, when we come to this slide, and you know what you guys do, y'all don't ever just use the, the stairs. That's just not right. What do you do? You have to go up the slide the wrong way because that's what children do. And so you come up the slide the wrong way and you get at the top and you get this wonderful scenic view only to do what? To slide down the slide again. Why? How is that even possible? Well, it's possible because there is a pulling force. Oh, let's get that back over here. There is a pulling force that's acting on us called gravity. Gravity is a pulling force and it's gravity that has me at the top of this slide. But if I push off just a little bit, I slide to the bottom of the slide because of gravity. Forces are everywhere, everywhere. Not only gravity, but if you've ever noticed that the slide is very, very smooth. It's not rough, it's not rocky. We intentionally make that smooth because that reduces the amount of friction. Another force, and therefore allows us to slide down really, really easy. And at water parks, really, really fast. So, what are forces? A force is a push or pull. There are many different forces that we interact with. Another force that we've already talked about is magnetism. Magnetism is a force that attracts and repels because we've already talked about that. And you can see on this playground that those forces are everywhere and we interact with them on a daily basis. Okay, so we're going to continue to talk about forces. We're going to continue to look at where some of these forces might be found. We're going to look at things on a day to day. Oh my goodness, I just thought of one. Every year at the end of the year, there's this competition that children go through. It's a wonderful time of the year where we all get to see who is the strongest class. And how do we do it? We will put a rope down and we will have children line up on both sides of this rope and they will pull and pull and the team that pulls the hardest, the team that has the greater pulling force, will win. It's all forces. Forces are everywhere. And that's what makes them awesome. So I want you to think about tug of war. I want you to think about all the things that are involved in tug of war. I want you to think about what happens to the winning team, what happens to the losing team. And I wonder, can you describe to me using forces, knowing a force is a pulling or pushing force, a pulling or a pushing force. Matter of fact, when somebody else is on this swing, what do you do? You get behind them and you push them because that is a pushing force, right? Forces are everywhere. Forces are awesome and forces are necessary. I'm gonna stop the squeaky swing. I'm gonna stop the squeaky swing. Forces are necessary for everything that we do in life. So, pushing, pulling, we have gravity as a force, we have magnetism as a force, and then we have friction. Friction is a rubbing force between two surfaces. The reason we make the slide smooth is because we want to reduce the friction and therefore making it easier for us to slide around because forces are absolutely everywhere. We interact with forces on a daily basis almost constantly, absolutely constantly, because gravity is constantly pulling on us. If it was not for the gravity, I would be floating in the air right now and uh, this would be a much more awesome video. Have an absolutely wonderful day. We will continue to talk about these forces and we will be back soon with more amazing science.